At the end of the day, I just want the people who represent us in the legislature to listen to us. Tonight, if lawmakers can't get it done, this group hopes voters across Utah will approve broad access to medical marijuana. Good evening. Advocates announced this morning they plan to collect enough signatures to get on the November ballot. New specialist Lad Egan just stepped out of a hearing on this issue, and he's live at the Capitol. Lad? Yeah, that's right. That hearing is expected to run late into the evening as they discuss the mechanics of, seven, of Senate Bill 73. What's unclear at the moment is whether that bill has a future now that its supporters have basically conceded defeat by proposing a ballot initiative instead. We have heard claims that Senator Madsen's bill, the Medical Cannabis Act, is dead on arrival. Worried that broad medical marijuana legislation won't pass with lawmakers, advocates say they'll have an easier time if Utah voters make the decision. That over two thirds of Utahns want safe, legal, medical access for patients. Republican Senator Mark Madsen's proposed legislation would provide that access. A meeting Tuesday afternoon discussed the mechanics of the bill, even with its future uncertain after the LDS Church has announced its opposition. I had to relearn how to walk, how to talk. Ogden resident Ryan Safton says medical marijuana would help relieve chronic conditions caused by a motorcycle crash. He hopes the threat of a ballot initiative will get lawmakers' attention. At the end of the day, I just want the people who represent us in the legislature to listen to us. I've been living with MS for 18 years. Amanda Ellis Graham from Sugar House says she wants medical marijuana legal one way or another because the treatment got her out of a wheelchair for the first time in years. I'm starting to be able to do things I couldn't before and I'm getting my life back. Even though they've hired a firm to start collecting signatures, this group of supporters says there is still a possibility that a ballot initiative won't be necessary. A ballot initiative is extremely difficult and we are sick patients. I don't think you want us out knocking on doors and collecting signatures. We really need the legislators to get on board and help us. There is a competing medical marijuana bill before the legislature this session. It is more restrictive and is not opposed by the LDS Church. However, supporters here today tell me they don't like it. In order to get this initiative on the November ballot, the supporters would need to get that submitted before the April 15th deadline, hold a series of town meetings, also get a legal review, and then start collecting nearly 102,000 signatures. So, Dave, that could be an uphill battle as well. well this figures to be a very important week for that issue. Lad Egan live on Capitol Hill tonight. Thanks, Lad.